Okay, so I'm walking around inside the structure and it's kind of weird as I'm looking around to think that in a few hours none of this is even going to exist anymore. Roswell Flight Test Crew here today with our good friends from Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue. They're going to do a burn to learn that house back there. You mean they're going to burn that thing to the ground? Yes. Awesome! <laughs> Our goal was to provide an aerial perspective on the exercise using a multi-rotor drone equipped with a FLIR thermal imaging camera. For the firefighters, the day began with a mission briefing. So the whole point of today is we're going to be uh, burning the house as a training experience. We have a recruit academy and so this is an opportunity for our recruit firefighters to come out and experience a live fire environment uh, where they get to practice hose movement, reading uh, and understanding. Uh, fire behavior, uh, heat conditions, it's a real house, um, it's live, uh, it'll be very busy. Um, it gets them the opportunity to see how chaotic and, and how much movement happens on the fire ground. Um, it should be all day today. We'll have multiple sets inside and so this gives the opportunity to be able to go in, put it out, uh, come back in, reset in another part of the house and so we can use this experience multiple times over and over and over again. Houses are rare and precious commodities, so I asked how the firefighters got permission to burn this one to the ground. So we acquired these structures from uh, Habitat for Humanity. They're looking to build on this property, so they wanted to figure out the best way to sort of utilize the property, and then they contacted us and said, hey, we have the structure, we'd love for you guys to be able to use it, and uh, which worked out really well for us and our new recruits. We're setting up the uh, water supply for the uh, house burn we're doing today and the way we set things up is we use two different hydrants to supply the different rigs so that if one hydrant fails then the other rig is set up with water already to continue feeding water to the operation. Smoke rising from the back of the house made it clear that the exercise had begun and the FLIR thermal imaging camera made it easy to pinpoint the exact location of the fire inside the structure. As the firefighters emerged, we observed them engaging in some unusual behavior. So you see the firefighters over there hosing each other off. There's a real specific purpose for that. And it's called gross decontamination. So when the firefighters go in there, they get all the toxic materials on their turnouts. Uh, and those are known to cause certain cancers. And so really what we want is our firefighters to be safe. So when they come outside, they get hosed down. It's like a low pressure hosing and they clean off all those really large debris material that's on their turnouts. It's to help them keep them safe. We set up a television screen so that the incident commander could see the live video feed coming down from the drone. So they've given us a radio so they can talk to us and command us. Now they actually want the, the imagery off the GoPro, not the FLIR in this case, so they can see people on the ground. As the exercise progressed and the clouds of smoke became thicker, Tekkenstein found a new use for the thermal camera. So flying over the fire was a lot of fun. Now, when the, I got completely enveloped in smoke, I flipped over to the flare, I could see perfectly. It was great. We asked the incident commander to give us his impression of the drone's effectiveness. So today at the house burn, we were able to utilize the drone as an aerial uh, asset to be able to look and see in real time what was going on. The drone was very, very stable. Uh, I was actually really surprised at, at the stability of the picture that we were able to look at on the television screen. The clarity on the, on the camera was remarkable, and being able to switch from thermal to clear picture I think was a really u valuable, useful uh, device as well. I was surprised at how quickly the, the drone could get deployed and get over to the Charlie side to give me real time, this is what's happening right now. All I had to do was look over to the television monitor and I could see crystal clear what the, what the situation, that's out normally outside of my view, what it looked like. It's pretty remarkable. And remember kids, don't try this at home. Well, hope you enjoy watching. See you next time. All right. Fly safe. <laughs>